Hello, my name is Astro Gamer Steve, and we're outside for once because I have something rather big to show you. It's this. This is my solid state hard drive in Minecraft. Now, I've been holding off on showing you this for quite a while, to be honest. Uh, I'll explain that in a bit. But right now, you're probably interested in uh, how to build it and how it works. So let's start small. This is the basic. Um, well, this is how it works. This is one bit of storage. That thing over there is one kilobit of storage. 1024 of these things. So how it works is it's basically a block update detector kind of thing. And uh, here we've got the input. Up equals zero and down equals one. So at the moment if I press this button it will go down and then immediately go back up because it's got no data to save. But if I set the bit to 1 on the input and then write that to the drive, which at the moment is just 1 bit, then it will stay down permanently until the input, I, I can press that as many times as I like, but the input is still 1. So if I change the input to 0 and then write that to the drive again, it will go back up. So that's basically how it works. It's very robust. I mean, it works every time, so it's, that's nice. This is what happens when you have lots of them in a row. So at the moment, I've got uh, one, two, and five stored on the drive. Uh, if I just want to erase that data, then I can set all these bits to zero and then write that to the drive again. And as you can see, they will all go down and then they will all go back up. And if I want to write 2, 3, and 4 onto my drive, I can write that. And then only 2, 3, uh, sorry, 2, 4, and 5 will stay down. If I want to remove 4, then I can just set that to 0, write that again, and only 2 and 5 will stay down. So there you go. Uh, I have not experienced any problems with writing this uh, data. So here I've got a load of data already on the drive as you can see but I've set all the inputs to zero so again I can just erase all the data on my drives and they'll all go back up. Now here's how it also works with um, not just in that direction but you can have it long and wide and it will still work. So if I want to write 2 and 3 to drive number 1 and then I want to write three and four to drive number two and then I want to write three and one to drive number three then I can do that and as you can see it's uh it just works there's no problems with uh, like I would have expected the only problem I'd come across is that if I try to write data to a drive behind this one well this uh, lever is up uh, then that would go up as well you know like interference but no it just works it works perfectly so I've expanded that over here and this is one kilobit of data as I said before so this will allow you to store 1024 bits of information it works fine with the writing stage at least. Now the reason I've been holding off on showing you this until now, oh, first of all, I'll just explain what's going on here. So, um, <clears throat> as you can see, it goes in and there's redstone there and then a repeater, then redstone, then a repeater with a block in between every single one. That means it only takes one redstone tick for the signal to travel four blocks which is as fast as I can go with this kind of configuration and as you can see it's the same kind of thing repeater, block, redstone, block, repeater, block, redstone, block all the way down and uh, yeah four blocks per redstone tick is not bad I'll just demonstrate how fast these uh, pistons go down now on this big drive and as you can see it goes down very fast very fast indeed it just transfers the signal over all of the the uh, block update detectors the same as that design but just lots of them that's how it works the reason I've been holding off on showing you this until now showing you this, showing you this until now is because while the write system works fine I've not been able to design a read system uh, this 
is a failed attempt. It doesn't really work. Um, it's harder than you think. It's harder than I thought, at least. Uh, so I challenge you, the viewers, now that I've got a reasonable number of you, if some of you want to come up with a read system for this drive, which I'll have as an MC Edit schematic in the description so you can just download this. If you want to design a read system so that I can actually take the data off of the drive and send it somewhere else. So it's going to need a discrete signal for every single bit on the drive. It's going to need to be able to detect which bit is down even if it's like 17F or something it's going to need to be able to read that single bit in this whole entire drive so if you want to design that then I'll have a look through anyone's submissions and hopefully someone will design a working one and I'll put that on the channel and give you credit for it so that's all I've got to show you today you can get this in the description my name has been Astro Gamer Steve you've been watching this video that's a vertical design but that doesn't really work either and I will see you next time.